Okay, this is going to be a tutorial about SmartFox server, and um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to fire up uh, the SmartFox server. Okay, and now that's starting up. Okay, and I also have a um, installation of um, WAMP Server 2.0 here with Apache uh, MySQL PHP. Uh, that's uh, WAMP, and, and I've got a little website that I wanted to show you. I'm, done a I finished my avatar chat and I've got it running so I will refresh here and we'll take a look at so I've got a little Joomla installation here and if I log into my Joomla installation now this is a database driven uh, content management system and if I log in and I go to the chat room, it automatically logs me into the chat room, and that's the first thing. And now that I'm in the avatar chat, this file comes with um, the SmartFox documentation that comes with the SmartFox server. Let me see if I can bring it up here. I've got um, the SmartFox server here, and if I go to the server, and I go to examples and I'm using ActionScript 2 you'll see that in this uh, folder there is the avatar chat example files and so I use the FLA from this um, example file to build my avatar chat but there are some differences one of the differences is that I can log in uh, I'm logged in automatically by uh, passing the username that Joomla uses on this database driven website it's passed to the SmartFox application to the the flash movie here and it logs me in automatically so my name Dan shows up here you can see my Joomla username is Dan I've logged in and now my avatar chat name is Dan automatically so that's one thing I did and I've also connected this um, application to a MySQL database which is another thing that you can do by going through the documentation and the example files they show you how to um, connect to databases you've got a simple extension uh, pro database extension and then pro database extension advanced these three um, example files will show you how you can connect to databases and then in the documentation that comes with SmartFox here's the SmartFox documentation you can just open it right out of the SmartFox server there are tutorials if you go to the SmartFox Pro tutorials that will show you how to connect to databases in number three and um, in there it shows you how you can also connect to the databases that are built within SmartFox server or you could connect to a MySQL database so I decided to do the configurations to help me connect to um, MySQL database. Now I have some previous tutorials where I show you how to do this and I'll put the links on this video down below. So look for the links and then you too if you want to try it out you can try it out. Now what's cool about this avatar chat is I've told you that I've connected it to a MySQL database so now what I can do is you can configure your avatar so I can change let's say the head shape right here right I can configure this let's say to brown hair I could change the eyes and the ears here by clicking on these buttons which I made right and then if I hit save my avatar is updated and um, and this works um, I've also got uh, I can uh, th this avatar is then configurable and then other people who join the chat space can see these changes as well and then these changes are maintained on the MySQL database. So if I go to WAMP server 2.0 here and I go to my PHP my admin, right, which I've already done here, and you can see here that I've got a database called the Avatars 3, and inside of it I have um, one table called users, and I can click on this table, users, just one table. How you do that is just put in the name that you want in the table and then you can put in how many fields you want. So I put in the name users and then the fields that I put in were six. Uh, username, hair, head, eyes, ears, and mouth. 
and the username has a string for my username and hair and head and eyes ears and mouth have numbers that um, integers that you can use to track which position you want for your hair so for instance this is hair position one, hair position two, hair position three, hair position four. So if you look on the database, you'll see that Dan here has hair position four. Head is position one. So if we go back here, and I've got hair position four here, and I change um, head position to that and hit save. Now, if I go back to the database and refresh, you'll see that now the head position is number two. So I can update and I can also add to the database right from the flash and that tracks the avatars. So now um, the avatars are configurable and it makes the chat room a little bit more uh, user friendly. It's a nice little addition to um, the program. So in the tutorial I'm going to show you guys how I went about to doing this. Um, I basically uh, used all of the built-in SmartFox documentation. Um, if you go to the, uh, like I said, if you go to the Pro uh, section here in the tutorials, you have the database stuff that you need. Um, in the, um, let's see here, in the SFS Pro tutorials, I looked at, let's see here, simple extension, database extension, advanced database extension, um, there's a login extension. I um, I looked at uh, those, okay, and I also in the basic tutorials read the avatar chat right here, and those helped me um, create this program. So what I'm going to do is in the next few tutorials, I'm going to show you all the different pieces that you're going to need to be able to do this.